We're about to begin the installation of a designer metallic epoxy floor system in this retail space. You can see that the space previously had a saw cut pattern in the concrete slab and the owner of the space no longer wanted to see this pattern. So all the joints were filled with the epoxy plus two part quick patch epoxy crack filler. Now the installer is doing one final cleaning on the floor. He's using denatured alcohol with a microfiber mop applicator and he's passing this over the floor uh, just to pick up any remaining dust or debris that may have settled prior to the start of actually installing the metallic epoxy floor system. You also want to make sure that the room that you're working in is not warm. Here you see the thermostat is set to 68 degrees and the actual air temperature inside the space is 72 degrees. The cooler the temperature in the room, the more working time you're going to have. Epoxy dries with heat, so the warmer the air temperature, the faster the epoxy is going to want to set up and start drying, and the less working time you'll have. So for maximum working time, drop the temperature in the room as close to 72 degrees as possible. You also want to make sure you store your material in a cool environment prior to using it. This goes for any buckets that you'll be using to mix the epoxy in. So the metallic pigments have been pre-mixed. In this case, the colors being used are orange, gold, and wine red. So the pigments have been pre-mixed. And now you see the installer is beginning by pouring some ribbons or bands on the floor. He's doing this in a very random fashion. And he's just uh, making sure that he fills the first section of flooring that's to be installed. Very random pattern. He's holding the bucket low so that it doesn't splash on any walls. However, you do see that some tape has been put along the baseboards, and this is so that none of the epoxy product gets onto the baseboards. This will be removed during the installation, as you'll see later in the video. But the metallic epoxy is being spread. This is the first color, orange gold, and he's just randomly pouring ribbons of the material around the floor. We recommend that the Epoxy Plus Designer Metallic Epoxy be installed at the rate of about 60 square feet per gallon. So the room has been measured and divided into manageable sections so that each kit covers the recommended square foot coverage rate. So here you see that both colors of the metallic epoxy have been poured onto the floor in random bands or ribbons. Uh, the two colors being used are orange gold and wine red. And one of the installers has a flat rubber squeegee and he's just pulling the material side to side. He's not putting any pressure on the squeegee. He's pulling it side to side, just spreading the material. Uh, he's not even really concerned about covering every square inch of the floor at this point. He's just moving material around. There may be a bare spot or two, and that's okay. That will be corrected once the floor is rolled. The other installer has a small roller, and he's uh, just pushing material up along the edges, making sure that the uh, areas against the walls and cabinets are uh, covered with epoxy.
So now that the metallic epoxy has been squeegeed and spread around the floor, it's now time to start rolling the epoxy. Here the installer is using an 18 inch 3 8 nap roller, shed free or um, shed resistant roller and he's just starting from one side rolling up and down across the uh, space. Not really putting any pressure on the roller, just rolling out the product. This is helping to move it around to even it out on the floor. It's covering any bare spots that were missed with the squeegee. You're going to see as he rolls, you're going to see roller marks. And as he continues to roll, the pigments are moving around, helping to create that marbleized effect. It's loosening them up from the epoxy, and they're able to move around the floor to create their own unique look. You also note that the installer is wearing um, baseball shoes or soccer shoes. They have cleats on the bottom, plastic cleats, and this is allowing him to walk in the epoxy, leaving small holes rather than a large footprint. These small holes from the cleats are easily covered over with the roller. So here you see that the first roll has been completed on the floor. It's about five minutes or so that has gone by and now the second roll is about to commence. So you'll see that the roller marks for the most part have dissipated within five or six minutes and the pigments have started to shift on the floor starting to create that uh, marbleized very organic look on the floor. So the installer is once again rolling the floor. This again is helping to uh, move pigment around on the floor, creating that very unique uh, look to the surface. So again, it's an 18 inch roller. He's not putting any pressure on. It's a fairly quick process. And he's moving side to side, making sure that the entire surface of the floor is being rolled. And this rolling process will be done three to four times. Uh, in different directions. Uh, again with our uh, epoxy plus metallic epoxy you have up to 45 minutes of working time depending on the uh, temperatures in the room uh, and if you're working as a team uh, this will be plenty of time for you to squeegee the product and back roll it several times. Uh, usually you're working in smaller sections of about 360 square feet and uh, usually this can be accomplished in about 15 to 20 minutes.
You'll also note that the installers are walking slowly on the floor. Uh, as a word of caution, the floor can be slippery. As you remember, we applied the EPE 300 water-based epoxy primer to the floor prior to uh, pouring the metallic epoxy on the floor. And the floor can be slippery at this point, so you'll want to exercise some caution, take small steps, move around slowly. Uh, that way you won't slip and uh, injure yourself. Here's a close-up view of what it will look like as you roll the metallic epoxy. Now as you see the roller moving across the floor, uh, first you'll note that uh, it appears as if all of the pigments are being blended together to almost form one color and you're losing that definition between the two colors that were used on the floor. This is normal and as the epoxy uh, begins to settle over the next couple of minutes, you'll again be able to see that the colors will separate within the epoxy and you'll begin to get that real marbleized uh, look on the floor. You also notice that the uh, shoe marks or the marks from the installer's cleats uh, are in the floor but as soon as he rolls over it you see that those marks will uh, go away so on your last roll of the floor that's when you make sure that all of your cleat marks or shoe marks have been rolled over so that they don't remain in the finished epoxy You'll notice that at the beginning of the project we put some blue tape along the cabinetry and also along the baseboards. This was to prevent any of the epoxy from uh, getting up on these surfaces as it was being rolled. But now we're removing the tape. We recommend that you remove this tape prior to the final rolling of the floor. So you're maybe about 20 minutes into the application. If you do it now, it peels off very easily, very clean lines. If you wait until the next day, it's very difficult to remove and will actually have to be cut with a knife. So just to recap this installation, the floor was primed with the EPE 300 water base epoxy. It was done in a black color. Um, then the designer metallic epoxy was mixed using two colors, one orange gold, the second one wine red. The installers poured the epoxy on the floor at a rate of about 60 square feet per gallon. They uh, poured it randomly in bands or ribbons then they took a flat rubber squeegee and moved the epoxy across the floor. They pushed the epoxy into all the edges and corners with a small roller and then an 18 inch roller was used to roll the floor to begin to even out the epoxy. This was done uh, twice already uh, and the tape that was protecting the baseboards was also removed and now you see the installer uh, beginning the final roll of the floor. This is just to even it out one last time and to again bring those pigments up to the top and get them to move around and shift uh, within the epoxy. All this has taken place within about 25 minutes.
final back rolling of the floor has been completed and you can see that the roller marks are dissipating. Uh, this will continue to happen over the next 20 to 30 minutes and the metallic pigments will continue to move around and shift within the epoxy creating this very unique uh, one-of-a-kind designer metallic epoxy floor.